Okay, finally I found a um, SD card that has enough on it. Oh God. This is like chaotic, honestly. Hold on, give me a second. All right, so now that I've like resettled myself, um, welcome back, hello, hi. Uh, it's been a minute since we have uh, chatted. It's been a minute, no, 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 no. Okay, I'm not gonna do that. Um, exciting news, I have a septum piercing, woo! Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you already know that I've had this for, uh, I think it's two months at this point or a few months, I uh, can't really remember, but it's been a while. Um, I'm starting this kind of chaotically. I have been up for several hours and um, thought literally in the past few minutes, I should vlog because it's been a while since I vlogged. I also just realized I don't have my mic on. That. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, sound is back on. The mic is back on. Um, yeah, I feel like the skin blurring effect is on, which is weird. I don't like that. I will change that in the next scene. All right, skin blurring effect is off and it's on aperture. Nice. Okay, so no, it doesn't do that weird zoom in thing. Um, great. Okay, so it's been chaotic. Um, where do I even start? I've started so many times on this, but apologies. I'm just everywhere. But I thought I would vlog today because I have a pretty chill day today. Um, and I'm going to be out the house a few times. I have a few events tonight that I'm doing, uh, a few events today that I'm doing. So I think first things first, I think I want to treat myself to a coffee um, and a pastry, maybe. I don't know if I really want to leave my house, though. Like, I shouldn't spend the money because I can make my matcha here and I have milk so I'm not gonna spend my money at a coffee shop I'm just gonna like make my breakfast here and have a matcha with my egg sandwich that I've been doing the past few days I've been having egg sandwiches uh, in the morning for my breakfast along with a smoothie that's been my breakfast but today I is a, is a more chill day because I'm not working out I've already worked out the amount of times that I needed to work out this week. And plus, I need to do a catch up with y'all. So, like, it's been a while since I've actually been in the mood to vlog, but also have had time to vlog. Like, so many things have happened. And, yeah, I just want to, like, catch y'all, yeah. Catch y'all, yeah. Catch y'all up on the things. On all the things. Um... Okay, I'm gonna make breakfast. What time is it right now? It's 8.10. It's a little early for me to eat breakfast. I typically eat breakfast around like 9, 9.30. But since I'm not working out today, might as well eat breakfast earlier, it's fine. Realistically, I'm gonna like finish watching a YouTube video because I have no meetings this morning. No, I do have a meeting this morning. Actually, I have an appointment, which I won't take you uh, along to that. But I'm going to finish watching this YouTube video, head to my appointment, come back. I'm really liking this set from Free People. It's really cute. Also got my nails done, got these uh, jellyfish, can you see? And then I got some like coral on the thumb. This is kind of like what it looks like. Really cool. Okay, just finished getting ready. 
put my hair in a bun because I just need it out of my face. But I switched sunscreen and now I'm using the Ulta MD UV Clear Broad Spectrum SPF. 46. I've only been able to get this off Amazon, so that's where I get mine. But I know that there are other places that sell them, but just for easy access for the amount of that I need it for. Because um, sometimes like I can tell like a few days before and I'm like, all right, let's get this order in on Amazon. Okay. Huh. I'm trying to button this thing. All right. I've had this for several years. Got it at Costco in the men's section. Um, I buy a lot of clothes from Costco. Not a lot of clothes, but pieces that last me for a long time come from Costco. So anyways, let's actually make this matcha latte. Oh my gosh, I think I like strained my ankle. So it's a really good thing that I'm not working out today. Um, Oh, but I do have, I'm dog sitting. I think I mentioned that. And I am gonna have to go on a walk. So I think with that, I'm just gonna have to be very careful um, on my walk today. Also, my apartment is a mess. <laughs> I got packages that I have like that I have not um, taken care of yet. So yeah, it's it's kind of messy right now. It's not like terrible, but it's messy for me, and I don't really thrive on this. But I have my little matcha station. Um, I'll show it to y'all. So I bought this like little raised board thing from IKEA. And I have like this matcha set. Um, this is not really for the matcha. I can just burn incense on it. I like, keep it on there because it's cute. Um, yeah, and then I have like my matcha in this little container here. And I'm gonna get started on that. Okay, awesome. Um, appointment got canceled. 
that I was supposed to go to. So no longer doing that. Made my matcha. Which turns out really good. And then I also have my egg sandwich with some goat cheese. Mm. Oh, got to take my vitamins. Bought this case off Amazon. I can link it down below if y'all want, but yeah, it just has like my vitamins in the compartment. All right, vitamins are taken. Breakfast is being had. I'm finally using my like reusable napkins instead of getting paper towels. Just, you know, making slow, just making small steps to being more sustainable in like multiple aspects of my life. And I love it because then it's like once it's dirty, just throw it in the wash, clean it, reuse it again. Yeah, I have a little bit of a break before I can start anyway. It's supposed to be off during this time, um, but my appointment got canceled. So several appointments got canceled or like rescheduled. I shouldn't say canceled, rescheduled. And that's okay. They can be done at later times. But wanted to do this and have, I mean, real life, I just have like my cardigan on here and then Blake. See, like, apartment's not, like, crazy messy. It's just, like, things are not in its place. This being one of them, my cardigan. But anyways, um, sits, sips matcha. Gotta get that energy going, girl. Wanted to provide a little bit of an update as to kind of, like, why I've been quiet for a while. Also, there's gonna be videos coming out before this one. So this one's probably gonna come out a little bit later because I have catch-up to do. But by the time this comes out, I would be caught up with those previous videos. Um, but to kind of explain like the last part of the year of 2022, as well as going into 2023, um, and like all my goals and plans and stuff like that. So beginning of 2022, I was like, I'm going to do these fitness check-ins. And I started doing them, did like two of them, I think. And then... Um, I, like last year was just a year of like medical ups and downs, as in it was a medical ro roller coaster with my health. My health was a roller coaster and I wanted to just like have a steady stream of being stable and my health was just really unstable. I think I talked about it a little bit. I got vertigo. I had a concussion, I had to get a lot of blood tests done, like um, like one of the blood tests that I was getting done revealed that I could have like further issues or something like that. And so, sorry if the lighting is like poor, let me uh, update you guys here. Had to get, like I got a blood test done at the very beginning when like vertigo was happening and that came back with one of my levels of that blood test being pretty high, which signified that something could be wrong with me. And so it was a lot of exploratory testing that was done last year. I saw several specialists. Some of those specialists didn't have great bedside manner. The ENT specialist was like, you could have brain damage. And I was like, great. Went to, then that specialist referred me to another specialist, a neurologist, went to saw them, and they were like, yeah, there's no way you have brain damage. I don't know why that person said that to you. And I got like multiple opinions and stuff like that. Don't have brain damage, thank God. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm doing okay there. Vertigo is gone, which is nice, but it took until like September, October 
for my vertigo to completely like stop. That also meant that like during that time when I was having vertigo, couldn't really work out, which was really frustrating. Um, the only time I felt fine was when I was driving, which I know some people might be like, if you have vertigo, you probably shouldn't drive. I've talked to several people about this who've had vertigo. And when I've had vertigo and these other people have had vertigo, I know there's some people who don't share the same experience who've had vertigo. How many times can I say vertigo? But me and the people that I've talked to, because I just mentioned like, and they were like, yeah, I had the same exact experience. When I was driving while having vertigo, my symptoms of vertigo were gone. I felt the most stable. And I think it was because I was like constantly moving in the car. Like the, the car is like moving you forward, but also like there's vibrations going on. I felt very stable to be able to drive. And my vertigo case wasn't like severe, severe, but it was severe enough for me to where I was like, I couldn't work out, laying down, sitting up, sitting down, like all the positions. If I was still, it was the worst. But if I was moving, as in like if I was walking, I felt fine. I didn't feel stable enough to like, you know, go on a treadmill or a Stairmaster type of thing because I was worried like something could happen. I, I just wanted to be very cautious. But in terms of like driving, I felt perfectly fine. If I was walking, sometimes I felt fine. Um, but typically if I was sitting still or standing still, like that was the worst that I would feel. And then I had some other health things happen. I had like a procedure done. Um, and at the end of the year, my grandma came out to kind of like take care of me. Very quick recovery. Um, nothing terrible. But yeah, had that procedure. Was not really expecting that, but glad that was able to get everything kind of taken care of um, because I had other symptoms that were going on. Like I, it was just a lot. And so I felt very like angry, frustrated, but mentally like I was okay. I was able to like not go into a depressive state because of it, which was nice. Um, Cause typically I feel like when things don't go right, I can get into a depressive state. I was not in the state to vlog because there is so much medically going on that I was just like, I can't, I can't do it. I like, vlog on here and create videos on here because I, I enjoy it. I enjoy making content. I enjoy the editing process. But yeah, I have just been like in a place of not really enjoying editing videos and I'm getting back to a place of like doing that. And I think it was because I just didn't have time. Like when I had time to do things, it was to um, outside of work, I was going to doctor's appointments outside of work or sometimes during work. So I'd have to like take time off to be like, hey, I have to I have a doctor's appointment I gotta go to. I'm schedule my time around that, which like thank God that there is just so much flexibility there to be able to like take time off in the morning or just take a few hours to just be like, I need to do this and really be in charge of my own hours and like be trusted that I can do my job. Very thankful for the team that I'm on and my manager, she is the absolute best. I have a really great team and truly everything that I've prayed for has come to fruition and I'm just like constantly thanking God for it because it's like night and day. Compared to the job that I had when I was like not working in tech, it was the job right before I was working in tech and I was there for almost four years. Like that was, it was a growing pain experience. Like I learned a lot of what I can handle and what I can't handle, what I need and what I don't need. I wouldn't say that I regret it because like it helped shape me to be who I am today. All that to say is like medical stuff and then moving and then new job, getting used to that environment, like switching insurances and then like paying all the things. It was a lot last year. And I know I said I would do these fitness check-ins and I think I will. I think I'll just like make it a part of like a weekly vlog. And I'm not even gonna try to commit to like a weekly vlog every single week because there are gonna be times when I have a busy season at work because um, 
I think I mentioned this before, like I'm an engineer now. And so, um, it's similar to a software engineer, but I'm not exactly a software engineer, but I do like code a little bit. I like build apps for people and, um, yeah, I, that's, that's like my job is that I like build apps and I do scripting, um, like groovy scripts. So looking at those integers, those consonants and old functions and yeah, do calculations and stuff like that. So I know a lot of things regarding like Excel spreadsheets access databases there's a lot that i do know and there's a lot that i don't know and i feel like the stuff that i don't know is heavier than the things that i do know which is fine hi toby <laughs> um just got to the house where i'm going to be dog sitting slash house sitting but um yeah um i don't know where i left off i think i talked about let me see where I left off, because I don't know. <sighs> All right, checked it, and I was talking about my team. Yeah, truly, my team is really outstanding and so great, and I'm so thankful to be on that team and to just, like, is Willa going to say hi? <laughs> She's so cute. Um, I'm just very thankful to be on that team and, yeah, have the opportunity to learn and grow. Uh, more as an engineer but um, yeah right now I think going forward I'm just maybe gonna like do vlogs of like daily life and kind of incorporate like my fitness check-ins um, when I'm able and when I'm comfortable to share I think last time which right now I feel pretty comfortable to share um, last time, oh, last time I did a fitness check-in, I think I said I was 216. Um, that was like my weight in pounds, that I weighed 216 pounds. Um, and I didn't do any like fitness update photos because I generally looked the same. Well, because everything that happened last year and the fact that I couldn't like really work out consistently and I started working out like maybe in November, December, um, I quickly went up in weight and I went back up to 235. Um, <laughs> the dogs are just playing. Um, but I went up to 235 pounds and weighed myself this morning and I weighed 220. So I've lost quite a bit of weight because um, I've been going back to the gym, but most consistently I've been eating really well and eating in a caloric deficit. Um, there are times when I like eat at a maintenance level and then um, eat at a caloric deficit. So I'm not always in a caloric deficit. So there's that, but yeah, that consistency is like paying off. I've really noticed um, like m how my clothes are fitting. Um, generally from 220 to 216, I think, I still look the same. So not gonna do a progress photo and I don't think I will do progress photos um, until I feel comfortable doing them. Um, but yeah, that is kind of like the fitness update but i'm here i'm at the house i'm dog sitting and probably gonna go on a walk um in a little bit with the pups but i also have to go into the office today this afternoon my client call got moved so that was really nice um so i guess it kind of worked out that like my appointments got canceled and i didn't have to like rush everywhere that it ended up being like a more chill friday so that makes me feel really good. Anyways, um, I'll check in with y'all in a little bit. Hey, baby girl. I think she's afraid of the camera, so I won't. She like just doesn't know what it is, which fair. She's a little pup. Um, but yeah, I will talk to y'all in a bit.
All right, so pups are drinking water, but it's currently the afternoon. Um, I have a client that's coming into the office and I haven't really, like I've only met a client once and it wasn't really my client, but I'm meeting my client today. And uh, I have to go back home and get business casual. So I need to get like slacks on and like a nice shirt. But I also need to get the rest of my stuff for staying here for the next few days because I'm staying here for the weekend to watch the pups. I was gonna take them out for a walk and it's like blue skies, like puffy white clouds, like it's beautiful out if you just look outside. But if you listen, the wind is so strong, which means it's very cold. Uh, it's deceptively cold outside uh, in Denver right now. You might be able to hear the wind. But before that, I have a little bit of work to do. So I'm gonna like do the things and then come back. and then do more things. That is my plan. But currently I, just to give you a little bit of a rundown of what I'm doing right now, um, I'm building out a report for a client and then I had another client who, that's not what I wanted, who wants to create like, I need to basically write up a script that says, Anytime this checkbox is checked, that means that you want to generate like a number of records that are gonna be attached to a parent record because it's like ERD stuff. And so I need to write a script that's gonna do that. But then also after every time that checkbox is checked, I want to uncheck it because then you can go back to that record and be like, I wanna add more. So I have to figure out how to write that. I have examples on another client account that has something similar that I did not build, but I am just gonna like look in their account. Um, they're my client, but I'm like maintaining their account essentially um, and adding on to it. Pretty sure it's on this table. Yes, it is. Okay. Not now. Can you hear that? But yeah, I'm just looking at another client account to see how they like did that so I can replicate it and provide it to the client because it's kind of like a co-build situation. Um, they're building like the app and then they're coming to me with their more like complex things and then I'm kind of building off of that. So I'm gonna take the next 30 minutes to just like focus on that, leave here by one o'clock, go home, change, and then head to the office downtown. Um, but besides changing, I also need to like get clothes to stay here for the weekend so i'm not going back and forth also the area that i'm in has such cute coffee shops nearby so um there you go that was wet um has such cute coffee shops nearby and i don't really have plans tomorrow except i'm going to my first escape room 
So I'm like excited, but like nervous for that because I'm claustrophobic. So I'm hoping it's not going to make me feel like insane. And I also suck at riddles. That's just not a skill set that I have. I also realize my underwear is showing and I'm sitting down. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna work on. Obviously I can't really show you my work cause you know, confidentiality and stuff. But that is what I am doing. Uh... So I just created a script to where I can have the checkbox uncheck after hitting save on a form and also create a number of child records from a parent table every time you save that form. Now it's about turning that number field and using it instead of the times within the script so that I can put however many child records into a parent as much as I want on that form. So progress, I made progress, which is nice. I feel like scripting for me just takes a lot of time to think through. <sighs> Y'all, I made it. Um, I am now gonna head back to the house that I'm dog sitting at, release the pups so they can go to the bathroom, get settled. But I figured out the scripting thing. I just turned the numbers field into an integer and then did whatever I named the integer as dot times, like period, and then the, num the, the word times, T-I-M-E-S, and then, yeah, was able to have it working, which is super, super exciting. I got that script to work. I met with the client, which was really great and then asked a question to um, another client to be like, hey, uh, okay, we're gonna just back up here so this guy can really figure it out. Um, yeah. So I need to turn right and then right again. Okay, I know where I'm going. But yeah, I'm gonna head out now. Let me get my sunglasses on. And I parked with enough time as well, which is nice. Because my meter is only set for two hours. And I left a little bit before then. So I'm back at the house and I'm going to head back out now because I need to go pick up my friends to go to dinner, but I've changed into more comfortable pants. Um, yeah, I'm so glad that that scripting thing that the client asked me to do worked out and I was able to solve it by myself without the help of my team. Not that it's bad to rely on your team to like help you like write a script or code and stuff like that. It's a very good thing, especially when you're on a team where it's like they're always willing to help. Um, but it's nice when you just like get things and things like make sense. And so, yeah, I'm able to like figure out through context clues and like previous scripts that I've written. Um, and I'm just keeping like my own little personal library and that's been like the best thing. But anyways, I gotta go because traffic is getting so heavy, so intense, so quickly. 
Um, I'm trying to keep my... I'm so excited for my piercing appointment next week to get this updated because it really bothers me when it's not straight. And I had a picture taken where it was wonky and I didn't realize because obviously you don't like really feel it when you're used to it. I would say like the first like several weeks, I knew it was there. Now it doesn't even feel like there's a booger forever hanging out my nose unless I do this and I can feel it on my upper lip. But anyways, I'm gonna go. I'll talk to y'all later. And yeah, I'm very excited. I'm probably gonna vlog on my phone. I might vlog on my camera. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see how things go. So just finished dropping off my friends at their place and I'm now headed back home. Trevor Noah was amazing. If you ever have the chance to go see him, I highly, highly recommend. He was really, really good. Um, yeah, he just like has a way of like pointing out the very obvious and like simple fact or truth and just making it so funny. And his recall is amazing. His ability to play off the crowd is incredible. Like I feel like we see things in like comedy sketches like online and we think oh it probably like took him a second to like really be that fast i've never really thought that but i feel like somehow we might think it's how we might think it's not automatic but like truly they are that fast like trevor noah was so fast at like making a joke that went with one of his main jokes out of what someone said in the crowd and just played off of it and like the recall was just insane. Officially, officially in bed. But um, yeah, Trevor Noah was great. He was incredible. And yeah, we went to Tupelo Honey. I think that's how you say it. Yeah, Tupelo Honey downtown. Um, it was so good. I got the sweet and spicy chicken sandwich with the extra crispy french fries. Oh, it was so good. And then the drink that I got was the Bee's Knees. It was like this gin lemon drink. I mean, I'm a sucker for gin. But man, it was strong. Like a few sips in and I was like, I feel it. So I think I'm going to sleep really well tonight. I only had one drink. Um, uh, yeah, but like I tried some of my friend's drinks and their drinks were really good too. Um, but yeah, I think that's uh, that's all she wrote. That's all I got for you. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Anyways, um, I've talked to y'all enough. I'm going to go to bed now. I mean, I'm in bed. I'm gonna sleep. So I will talk to y'all later. Uh, first time back to vlogging in a long time, so sorry if I was a little bit rough. And um, I hope y'all are doing well. I hope that you're having a great day. I hope you get to do something that you like or love for at least five minutes today or tonight. And, uh, yeah, don't forget to stay kind, stay true, and stay laughing. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye! <laughs> I'm so excited to get my septum piercing changed.